Hey, Shalom, Shalom. This is uh, Sayonala, and, and we're from uh, 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 GMS Dallas Camp, man. We just want to come back with, with uh, another quick lesson. First off, I want to give all praises and, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, double honors to the elders that rule well. Peace and blessings to you brothers out there speaking the word with sincerity and truth. We just want to go into uh, to a quick lesson because a lot of things have been going on, and um uh, you know, me and the brother Nashar were just kind of talk about how talking about how you got to be patient and trust that uh, that Yahweh Hashem Yahweh is, is going to be there, man. No matter is the situations in your daily life, dealing with your family, your kids, or and as you can see now, you have uh, people who 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 are not into the scriptures they're not not, not not into the word of the heavenly father and so in order to attack the men uh that are that are out pushing the word to try to uh, uh, get into our personal lives what they're gonna see is that's not gonna prevail man that the, the message of the the heavenly father the message of yahweh and the elect is, is going to be pushed no matter what they do man no matter what they do and brothers, and when it, in this thing, you know, there was a lot of things that happened to me over the weekend that made me realize that I need to just have patience and trust that Yahweh and Yahweh is going to handle the things that need to be handled, whether it's uh, for the good or whether I see it and it might, it might necessarily it might hurt. You know, either way, the, the spirit of the Heavenly Father is going to direct and guide us where we need to go and to what, we, what we're doing. So it just made me think of a quick uh, 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 of a psalm that King David had. We're going to start, uh, start in Psalms to 69th chapter. We're just going to read down. You know, hopefully you brothers bear with us. And uh, uh, Lord willing, this is a, uh, edification to you brothers out there. Got that. This is uh, Psalm 69, starting verse 1. To the chief musician upon Shoshim, I think I'm pronouncing that right, the Psalm of David. Say me, O Christ, for the waters are come unto my soul. I sit in deep near my mire. Mm -hmm. uh, when I act as a ghost, I stand. Mm -hmm. I am come. Into deep waters where the flood, clouds, floods, floods mm -hmm. overflow. Yeah, and so I mean, I don't know if you brothers ever been in a, in a situation where you're in deep rushing water and your feet don't touch the bottom. Is it, <clears throat> when that happens to somebody, that can be a very uh, 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 you feel very helpless. Yeah, a very helpless situation when you're in waters like that. And you, you know, you, have you ever watched a flood? Have you ever watched like, uh, like um, video of the uh, Katrina and how the water was just overtaking people, man? And it'll come over your head. And you can't grab nothing. You're just spiraling in that water, man. Sometimes uh, life can get that way where you feel like there's so many things coming at you that, that it's just overtaking you. It's like a it's like a flood of, of, of all this wickedness coming to you at once. But let's see what uh, King David. Yeah, that's to say about that. I am weary of my crime. Mm -hmm. My throat is dry. My eyes fail. Well, yeah, I'm well, mm -hmm. well, yeah, so I mean, he, he, you know, this is the king of all Israel right here, man. He has all the money in the world, women he he wants, but he's he's still he's still tormented by the things and uh, going on in his life to where he, you know, he's he's crying, but he's waiting on Yahweh Shai to to guide his way, you know, even even when he's feeling that low. Go ahead. They that hate me without a cause are more than the errors of my head. My yeah. errors of my head. Yeah, man. Well, he said the, the, those that hate him without a cause, they unjust, unjustifiably hate, hate, hate him, man. That's more than the more than the hairs on his head, man. That's that's a lot of that's a lot of hate, man. That's a lot of people that hate you, man. And that's how it is in GMS, man. You know, you got all these guys on the internet, all these people that uh, uh, in, your, in your life just because you decided to make take a stance on, on on your life and the things that you got going on, and you decide to give your 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 strength and power uh, in a, to the Lord. Uh, they hate you, man. No reason, no good reason to hate you, man. They just hate you just because, and want to see you destroyed just because. Go ahead. They that would destroy me, make my enemies awesome or mighty. Mm -hmm. And I was sure that which I took my way. Mm -hmm. 
And and so he he restored that which I, I I took not away, man. So you constantly 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 be getting handed the wrong end of the, end of the deal, basically, man. And those that, that that wrongfully hate them, they seem more mightier than you are. But in, in actuality, Yahweh Hashem Yahushua is with you, man. You have to trust to know that. Go ahead. Kind, kind. One of the hardest things in this truth, man, is to learn is to be patient. Because, I mean, it's, it's beautiful once you start to understand it. Because being patient causes you to have to make decisions. Uh, things like right. Things like being you know, patient causes you to see things even in without jumping into conclusions and, you know, to your own assumptions. Right. Causes you to see stuff and, you know, see stuff on a bigger picture or see whatever it is the Lord is trying to show you. You know, like, the same person was being uh, come on. Mm-hmm. It's not opposite. You know, you're being calm. Uh, you know, kind of like I used to talking about water right now. Think about it. You're coming to uh, deep water, and you can't swim. The first thing you're going to do is panic. Because you're not thinking of being patient. You're thinking of being calm. I'm going to do it. You're going to get some type of decision. Mm-hmm. But really, being patient is sitting around waiting to come, come up with a better decision. Right. I got a quick precept to back you up. This is Sir. Rack. 20th chapter in the 32nd verse it says necessary patience in seeking the Lord is better than he that leadeth his life without a guide and so that the patience in the Lord is the way he's going to guide you in your decision making and things like that man and so that, that brother is exactly right a lot of times carnal things happen to us and you know and I'm speaking to myself when I say this you know a lot of times you want to react Quickly, without without just let, without meditating, praying, and getting guidance from Yahweh, Yahweh shot. And what's the downside of it? Because you gotta think like the Lord still admires that you care about, you know, Him and, and, and the spiritual aspect of things. You know, He's the point of truth. He cares about that. I guarantee you, you smile and knowing that okay, He's doing a really great well job to be like cornering right now. You know, mm-hmm. but at the same time, we just gotta be patient because that's just the time to be patient. Right. That's exactly right. Let's get back to the Psalms. Keep reading that. Call it and read it out. This is Psalm 69 and back in verse 5. Okay. Oh, how? Okay. I know it's my foolishness. Mm-hmm. And my sins are not here for me. Right. So he's 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 a mid man. Uh, Lord, you know you know I, I I messed up. You know, and the things that I've done are not here from. Go ahead. That not them that wait on me. Oh Lord, I will boast. Be ashamed for my sake. Mm-hmm. Let not those that seek me be confounded for my sake. Mm-hmm. Oh, power of Israel. Mm-hmm. Because for thy sake I have borne reproach. Mm-hmm. A shame hath covered my face. Mm-hmm. And become a stranger unto my brother. Mm-hmm. And an alien unto my brother. Yeah, alien unto my brother. Mm-hmm. That's right. No, it's all good. It says I become a stranger unto my brother and an alien unto my mother's children, man. That's talking about two thirds of the nation of Israel and the and uh, Esau and these other nations, man. You know, and because uh, we're hidden Yahweh Shah. Yeah, we're hidden Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. And, and but all, although we may have things in, to where we have, we went off mm-hmm. and, you know, saying we've sinned, we, we pray that it's not a stumbling block to, to the brethren out there that are learning, and that we're growing in this thing. And so, yeah, you can dig up things from our past and find all this bullshit, man, but the brothers that are truly in this thing are going to look past it, man, mm-hmm. and to know that. Yahweh Bashim Yahushai has mercy on the elect. We, we've all we've all came into this thing with, with BS, man. And we're all growing and learning, man. It's a, it's, a, it's a growing process, you know. Year to year, the hope of Lord will us through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, you, you grow, you know. You don't make the same mistakes. Well, that's the important thing about being patient, because when you're patient, it causes you to sit back and you can see the decision the Lord wants you to Mm-hmm. Uh, it's hard names, so it's going to be very powerful and beautiful when you make the decision. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm not saying corner, and then they take the script out right there and down, but they probably be making your, you know, life and situation a lot worse. Mm-hmm. For sure. Um, that's I'm going to become a stranger unto my brother and an alien unto my mother's children. 
for the zeal of my house and eat me up and approaches a bit that's approaching me a falling up to a pun or a falling up to a pun when I wear and chastise my soul uh, with fasting that was to select. Yeah, that was, yeah, okay. Go so ahead. I'm 16 out of 10. When I went up and chastised my soul with uh, fasting, that was to my response. Mm-hmm. I made sackcloth also with my garments. I became a proverb to this. Right. So, I mean, we, when coming into this thing, you know, we, we do things to uh, basically <coughs> show our faith in Yahweh about Shemiel Shah. King David's talking about how he, he chastened his soul with fasting. Um, that was to his, to his reproach, reproach, reproach. And again, we have the king of all Israel said that he made sackcloth also his garment. So, it, it's not like he was... Uh, uh, all, all gold plated out and everything like that, man. So he he he, he humbled himself to to Yahweh Shemiah and became a proverb to them, man. People talking talking shit, you know. But reading down in verse twelve, it says that 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 they sit in this uh, the gate speak against me, and I was and I was the song of drunkards, because as for me, my prayers unto thee, O Lord, in the acceptable time, O Yahweh, in uh, the multitude of thy mercy, hear me, in the truth of my salvation, deliver me out of the mire, and let me not sink. Let me be delivered from them that hate me and and out of the deep waters, man. And so that's what we, that's how we go counteract in all of the all of this BS that's going on. We know that the, through the spirit and power of Yah that he's gonna he's gonna fight for us, man. He's gonna he's gonna clear clear the path for us, even though people might throw in roadblocks, things like that. We're not gonna get carnal back with them, those those guys because you know where you looking at somebody putting your personal information out there we could do the same thing we know where they live you know we know they about the old ladies we know all that different stuff but we don't we, we're not coming at we're not going to come at it and be hypocrites man we're, we're we trust in the heavenly father unlike those guys man and even in your daily life you might be going into something where somebody wrongfully does something you can you something goes on with your job with your job Something's a, something goes on between you and your your your, uh, your significant other. Just pray 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 that the Lord is gonna that you're doing the right thing that the Lord is gonna handle the situation the way it needs to be handled uh, in the right way, uprightly. You know. Um, did you have anything else on that? Do you want to jump to Timothy? Yeah, jump to Timothy. Okay. It says, and the servant of the Lord must not strive, but be gentle unto me, appointed to teach. You have to teach. I have to teach. Mm -hmm. I want to keep that word on there for uh, strive. Okay. God, I can. Let's go to tools. The word strive. Let's see here. Strong's G, 3164. Machamai. Machamai. The word is Machamai in the Greek. It means to fight. Mm -hmm. Combat. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. I want to keep reading down on that. Okay. Uh, verse 25 it says, In meekness, instructing those that oppose themselves, mm -hmm. that the Most High uh, Preventure will give them uh, repentance to the acknowledge you. Of the truth. Man, and so that's why we have to continue to just stay patient in this thing because the Lord is is, is revealing a mighty work to us, man. A mighty work to us, man. 
And so we, we, we that's why when you jump up, it says the servant of, of Yahweh, uh, Yahweh, Yahweh, must not strive. It's not hand to hand. You know what I'm saying? It's not going to be a physical struggle, but be gentle unto all men after teaching patience. So when things come our way to where it might not go to the way we want it or we feel that we're being attacked uh, uh, wrongfully, we, you know, the first instance to get is to get mad and want to, and want to physically harm harm that person or to uh, do something like that. But when you think about what the the servants of the Lord go through, man, it's a, just a it's an excellent time to teach, man. To teach, to, to it's, a, it's always a lesson in it, man. So that's how that's how we gotta approach these things. That the Lord is revealing this mighty, mighty work and true to us. Um, that's why it says in meekness, instructing those that oppose themselves. If God preventure will give them repentance to acknowledge another truth. So, you know. We'll we'll see we'll see what happens to those guys and if they wake up to to their their the wickedness, you know, hey, awesome, you know. If, if not, then they're going to be destroyed in their wickedness. That's that's just as how it's going to be, man. They know what they're doing is wicked, you know. Well, a good example, you know, I was giving analogies. Say, for instance, you were at work and you looked at all your friends' documents. Mm-hmm. Somebody came over and said, "Hey, I put you to bed." Somebody else came over and said, "Hey, I said, come on, I put you to bed." You know, that gets you it's a distraction. And your whole job with the dick was pretty bad. Mm-hmm. Same thing with us with the truth. Our whole job right now was to be fishing. Mm-hmm. You know, because we're going to watch it. And Satan will come and try to distract you off that job. That's right. <laughs> That's a great point. That's a great point. Um, you want to keep reading down on that? Go ahead. This is 2 uh, Timothy 2 and 26. And they that may recover themselves out of the snare of the devil or take it captive by him and his will. That's right, man. So, I mean, that's what we're going to see. A lot of these guys aren't men of the Lord. They're the wicked niggas. And they're going to be destroyed. And that's going to be great, man. We'll we'll apply, we'll pl- apply the destruction, man. You know, you, you can take that for whatever you want to take it as far as how the Lord is going to destroy you. That's a, you, you. That threat has come directly from Yahweh Shem Shah. So if you want to take it as me threatening you, hey, hey, it is what it is. But the Lord is going to destroy you. Guys out there that are being super wicked, and your mind is constantly, constantly meditating on doing, uh, doing wickedness, man. Your end game is, is, is that the Lord is going to destroy you. Okay? And we just got a couple more scriptures, man. Just kind of going into having patience, man. Uh, you got your, uh, you got your, uh, pack of, yeah. Grab a Baruch 4 and 25. Baruch Kisha. Let's read that real quick. Four, 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 uh, 25. Uh, mm-hmm. Uh, group 4 and 25. He says, My children, suffer patiently uh-huh. the wrath that has come upon you from the Most High. Mm. For thy enemy that persecuted thee. But surely thou shalt see his destruction. Yeah, surely thou shalt see his destruction, man. So you you got people that that that, that are out there that think that the Lord is just gonna allow you just to continue to do wickedness. You are, 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 are highly mistaken. And we might say that it might seem naive to those who are not in this thing that oh Lord gonna Lord ain't gonna do nothing, you know. They they have that type of mentality, man. You gotta get out there and uh, do something on your own, but Hey, that's 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 your path. If you if you don't see that the Lord is doing a mighty work and taking down the so-called white man, you know what I'm saying? If you if you can't see that, then you definitely won't see it in your day to day life either, man. Because the Lord is working a, a mighty, mighty, mighty work, and He's prote- He's gonna protect His elect. Man. What is the spirit of faith to the Lord? You gotta think of if, if you're a person and you call yourself in this truly split and you feel like you've got to do it now and you're all ready to fight and you know, you know, what does that really say about the Lord you serve? Mm-hmm. You feel like he can't do it himself. Mm-hmm. You feel like you got to go out there and just fly and ready to fight everything on your own. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Well, that, that, that led me to this scripture. This is, uh, was there more on that? Huh? Okay, go ahead, finish that up. It says, but surely thou shalt see his destruction and shall tread upon his neck. And shall tread upon his neck, man. I wonder I wonder who's going to be doing the treading. Yeah. i just leave it at that, man. i just leave it at that. Somebody got to be do the, doing the treading. Man, it ain't going to be via the internet. We ain't going to be treading via uh, uh, trolling back and forth on the internet. 
Okay? This is Psalms 37 and 1. A song of David. Fret not thyself because of evildoers. Neither be thou envious against the workers of iniquity. For they shall soon be cut down like the grass and wither as a green herb. Trust in Yahweh. By Shem Shai, And do good. So shalt thou dwell in the land. And verily thou shalt be fed. Delight thyself also in the Lord. And he shall give thee the desires of thine heart. Commit thy way unto the Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shai. Trust also in him, and he shall bring and he shall bring it to pass. So, you know, when we're saying all these different things of of, of and we out there prophesying the downfall of the so called white men in these other nations, but on, on a personal level, when you coming against the men of the Lord and those prayers are going out, the Lord is gonna hear the answer is gonna answer those prayers, man. If those prayers are uh, men in sincerity, sincerity in, uh, uh, through His will, man. So that I mean, that's 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 all we need, man. That's all we need is 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 to, to trust in Yah, about you, Yah, shine and keep pushing this word. If you jump down to verse thirty-four, I believe. Am I thirty-four? Yeah, kind. Of. Okay. Um, this is Psalms 37 and 34. It says, Wait on Yahweh Bashim Yahushai and keep his way, and he shall exalt thee to inherit the land. When the wicked are cut off, thou, thou shalt see it. I have, I, I have seen the wicked in great power and spreading himself like a, a green bay tree, yet he passed away, and lo, he was not. Yeah, I saw him, but he could not be found. So, you know, you got these guys like Yachanan and uh, the Lemur and Mike the Hamite. You guys are no y'all low level man. If the if the Lord is is is, is busy taking down uh, these elites, these these trillionaires, wiping you niggas off the map is gonna be easy work, man. All we gotta do is just wait on the Lord, man. It's ne- it's, ne- it's not gonna even be anything. It's gonna be just a little blip, man. You guys are nothing, man. You have no power. You on the internet talking shit, but it's it's gonna come to naught, man. Cause you fail to realize that Yahweh is in control of all of this stuff, not you. That's why you niggas fell out, man. Because y'all not in the spirit. You're not in the spirit. That's why you don't teach. You don't do nothing to edify. That's why all your videos are just uh, are full of malice and hate. Towards people who were diligently doing the work. That's all it is. And, you, and you're blinded by your malice. You're blinded by your envy. So keep on man. Keep keep it up man. Because it's all going to turn. All that malice and hate. You reap. That's all you're reaping man. So that's what you're going to sow. You have the same spirit as the white man. An unjustified malice. Towards Israel, because you're not making, you're not helping Israel grow. You're just being a nigga. That's all you're doing. The, the 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 men that you're making videos on are diligent brothers that are constantly teaching. Constantly, you can't say they're not, because all you have, the evidence is you go on their page and it's video after video after video after video of them teaching, man. You know. Whether it's topics on World War Three or the chip or 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 the the, the doctors out there that are off and false or, or 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 going into the household and women salvation and faith they go they go into all these different things on your page is all it is is just you spewing out dumb rhetoric that is not edifying at all it has nothing to do with the scriptures it's just hating that's all it is. Okay? So, go ahead, bring that out. Right? This is uh, Romans 12, verse 22. Okay. It says, but trust in true hope, patient in tribulation, mm. and a continual discipline in prayer. Mm-hmm. Now, I'm going to jump down to uh, 16. It says, be of the same mind one towards another. Mind not high things, but condescend to me of a little state. Mm-hmm. Be not wise in your mind. See, I think about it. What's going to be these things? Mm-hmm. 
Who would that who would that really happen? Mm-hmm. And what they got was that. That would that would fill our pain for it and want something that is the way we want it done. Mm-hmm. Right? Which that we profess to no man evil for evil. Mm-hmm. Provide things honest in the sight of our limits. That's right. And what's honest is called the truth and what the world is called and how much we can share all this is the truth. That's right. That's all we can focus on, man. That's all we're gonna focus on, Lord willing, man. Um, I just got one more, and then we can wrap it up. This is Sirach, first chapter, and the, the uh, 23rd verse. It says, um, "No, I started 22. A furious man cannot be justified, for the sway of his fury shall be his destruction. A patient man will tear for a time." And afterward, joy shall spring up unto him. And that's and with that, I want to give out one more. You got one more? Okay, okay. <laughs> no, go ahead. I go ahead. Romans twelve and eighteen. It says, "If it be possible, as much as it depends upon you, live peaceably with all men. Dearly beloved, things not yourselves, but rather give a place unto wrath." What is written? Vengeance is mine. I will repay. I said the Lord. There you go, man. It's all, you know, it's to you brothers out there listening to this, man. It's just stay locked into the spirit, man. Things and trials and tribulations are going to happen to you. Just know that the Lord has has our back, man. You know, with that, we want to give all praise and glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the re- others that rule well. Peace and blessings to you out there, brothers out there teaching this word of sincerity and truth. Shalom, and man up. Shalom.